Welcome back, everybody, to Grand Tactician of Civil War. I'm Grubby Grumpa Gaming, and this is episode 14 of our Confederate Summer 61 campaign in version 1.09 using the AOM mod. Uh, no new viewer units this episode, so uh, go straight to the recap here. So, we just fought another battle, uh, 8th Manassas out here, uh, seeing off 2 to 1 odds. And that was uh, three different army corps under uh, with one army command with one corps and then two other separate corps with uh, McClellan, McCall, Buell, and Heinzelman on the battlefield. Uh, and they had some really kind of... Uh, the tactic I guess they employed was Let's beat our heads against the wall and see which breaks first, our heads or the wall. And we know how that went. So, <laughs> enough said about that one. So, the second corps, I believe the Army can Army Kentucky is moving on to the outskirts of Winchester again. So, I'm dispatching uh, Stuart and the corps of the Shenandoah back up to Winchester to take them on. Now, Corps of Shenandoah has 18,930. And 2nd Corps, I think it's around 25,000. Yeah, 25,000 even with 40 guns. So, uh, now have a slight number advantage, but uh, from the way the AI generals have been performing, I shouldn't be able to elite. This shouldn't really be an issue. But uh, one thing I did notice, uh, is I kind of lost track of all the rest of the Union armies that were up here. And I have some very good military intelligence gathering in my armies and I've lost sight of these boys so I don't they could be up here in Baltimore but they finally was drawn beyond Alexandria probably has gotten smart and said hey let me rebuild morale and stability of my units and bring them back to Union territory I'm thinking that's maybe what happened all right going down to core Florida as I said uh last episode the uh the Corps got seen off when I put them into an assault. And it's probably because I wouldn't look at their morale. The morale's probably low to begin with. So uh, even though they're 100% green readiness, 100% on supplies, their morale is just stable at this point. And it's going to increase. It should be maxed at 98.6 according to the tool tip and at 58.7. So uh, hopefully in the next few days, we'll be back at 100%, uh, that 98% morale. And I'll send them back again to Fort Jefferson. Uh, see if we can't take down that last Union stronghold here in the south. And uh, moving out west, we did take Cairo in the last episode, and the Union has done nothing about that, which I'm honestly surprised about. I haven't seen any... I really can't see what's going on back here, but if they were moving in the area of these towns, I'd have some intelligence on them. But it doesn't look like they're making any type of movement whatsoever. Like the adults I have on these three core right here, or these two core and an army command is about four months old. So I don't know what's going on up there. And the intelligence on these units is even older. So I have no idea where they are right now. Now that we're out here in the West. So I did have a commenter uh, tell me that you cannot seize these uh, points here, but you can uh, raid them. I'm not going to raid that. I'm just uh, sending this uh, division back down the river over to the Western Department so they could start forming that. Uh, it, it is formed as a second corps, but so they can start adding troops into it. And Stan Wadi's corps is over here. I did send these boys raiding. Because this is a cavalry division. I've never taken partisan brigades before. So I want to see what type of effect this has. I really shouldn't have them raiding in Kansas. Because I'm trying to flip it. But it's going to be another 39 hours before those orders arrive to them. So I'll probably have them up here in uh, Topeka by then. I do believe that should cover everything. So, uh, I'll be back in, uh, probably just a few seconds for you guys with, uh, probably another battle at Winchester. I'll see you there. Alright, everybody, we do have a second engagement beginning here at, uh, Winchester. 
Uh, it's uh, April 13th in game, about 12.30 in the afternoon. And we are fighting the 2nd Corps of the Army of Kentucky under the command of Brigadier General Ormsby Mitchell. So, uh, taking on the Corps of the Shenandoah under Jeb Stewart. Uh, Lee is not in command range of them. So he's not going to have that status upstate. So it shows him in range on here. When I clicked on here, he shows him outside of range. So they're not, Lee and the other corps are not arriving as reinforcements. So Ormsby's got 22,500 infantry, 1,700 cavalry, and 40 guns against my 17,800 infantry, 950 cavalry, and 23 guns. Um, you're just hoping they have a, you know, bang their head against a wall type of moment like they did in the last battle, but we'll see. I'll be back after the loading screen. Alrighty, everybody. Welcome to the Battle of Front Royal Bridge. Now, this is the Winchester map, but, uh, the battle is happening south of town towards the Front Royal area. So that's why it has that name. So I decided to sit south of town and stop the Union's counter on taking it and let them come at me. That's here entering from here. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, we got three entry points. But they should be coming in from over here. No, up here by Beverly is where they should be coming in from. I do have a nice choice of open terrain for this fight. But, uh, actually it's kind of the same defensive location. Uh, yeah, it is the same exact location defensive as the Battle of Winchester. So I'm going to do the same, same exact layout I had last time, really no changes. So, they'll probably come down one of these three roads here. Coming from Beverly, they might strike over here at the Carper House. I, could really, I really hope they come at me from this direction with these uh, wide open fields. Every time I think this damn phone's on silent. So, uh... I really want them to come at me from over here because I can just set my batteries up to take them at long range and just let them have batteries up here on these heights that's hammering out in this direction. But I doubt the AI will oblige me that well. But we'll see. So, uh, let me get this uh, army set up and I'll be back with the dispositions. Here I bring you all back in real fast. Take a look at some dispositions here. So I got the British Exiles Division out here on the extreme left. So they have their own artillery piece. So I put them out here watching this road here. I got the 2nd Georgia Division on this road here by the Copper House. 2nd uh, Division, I got to change the name of this division. Give it some type of name because I think all these divisions have names. Yeah, I got the 1st and 2nd Georgia Division, the Exiles Division. This one needs a name. Uh watching this road right here for the most part. And the 1st Georgia Division is going to be up here on this cliff line again. The uh, engineers building some breastworks for them. And I didn't build breastworks for these guys yet because they're going to build their own because they haven't perked up yet. So they're going to get some experience points doing their own uh, construction. And have the artillery division sitting there with them and covering out. Yeah, that showed me a better range fan before than it does now. Oh, these range fans keep changing. I don't know how accurate they are. Basically covering out this open ground out south of town. Because they're going to be no good to me back here behind the tree lines. Or even over here. They don't really, Even when I've had artillery up here, they don't sight too well down this direction. And I'm going to be sending the cavalry division up to this high ground over here outside of town. Just to see uh, what we can see. Speaking of which, is that... And that should cover everything. They have to come, they're looking to get this point back here behind me. 
So, hoping to come down this road or this road, but we'll see. I'll be back once the uh, action starts. All right, so I wasn't paying attention. My cavalry division ran right into their army. They are actually here outside of town. <laughs> Not outside of town. They're inside of town, and they're coming my way fast. These guys are moving. So, uh, yeah, I should have pre-built these guys as breastworks. So, let's shift this division down. I have to put some money in this gap here. I only lost 10 men in that little initial skirmish, but I'm going to have to pull them back further. You guys come over here. I get caught with the fighting this cavalry out here. The infantry will move up on them. They just don't got the numbers for that type of fight. Looks like I'm going to have to pull everybody from this uh, flank over. And how the hell did these guys break already? That's Munford. I guess he's going to be uh, getting defamed for this one. And I got more troops moving out this way. I know I saw some cavalry coming down that direction. Looks like I might actually be fighting an AI commander who knows what the hell he's doing. Whatever the hell you want. It's like I lost all my coverage to the front with the artillery. I don't know what the hell's going on there. There we go. Oh, I have everybody on counter battery. That's why. Yeah, stay on counter battery. That works for me. You guys are just outside of canister range, too. Another division get its orders. And yeah, they're arriving now. Right, this front looks clear, so I'm going to pull 2nd Division out also. Bring them up reserve over here. They are actually moving out the weakest point of my line right now. Some double time orders. You take fire at will orders. Oh shit, I'm getting flanked. Are you boys not moving yet? You have your orders. Brigade hadn't broken. I'd be able to handle them, but this division coming in on that flank, I'm not going to be able to do anything about that. Yeah, good. Double timing. Right, change of orders for you. you come out this way. road 
seconds for now. It's going to put you in front of their lines. Looks like the British exiles are about to get uh, some hot action going on here. Stop your construction. Stop your construction. Just get into the whatever you got built. Get behind them. All of my guns are not firing. Let's spread these guys out a little bit. Hopefully the AI ignores the objective and starts coming at me. He's still waiting for his orders, are you kidding me? Oh, because my core commander's all the way to hell down over here. That is something they need to fix. The core commander seems to hang out with trailing units when he should be hanging out towards the center. Shifting right. Get my guns up there on that. There we go. Guys are all gonna be exhausted by the time they get there. You guys are finally moving, huh? No. Engineers, let's not forget about them. Up over here. Actually fighting a competent AI, I can't believe it. So the Highlander is getting the first volley out. Guess they're running for that gap. Oh, this is not going to be pretty. Just now. The boys are about to have a hot time. Artillery was going to be firing at will. You're gonna need a whiskey for this battle.
smoke coming up. Right, they've left this flank open. So we're going to go get that cavalry and uh, artillery battery. Cavalry's definitely seen more action than usual. How are these guys doing? Six losses. These guys are finding them taking canister, so they shouldn't hold long, hopefully. Are they coming at me before they go through them? That'd be interesting. Now these guys are stuck on that bottom land. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> Flank and rear now. Oh, and these both these units have my sharps carbines too. That's good. the artillery. Looks like the Surreys are about to break. Get in there and rally your men. Hang in there, Armistead. Cavalry Brigade, 1st Virginia just broke. 2nd Virginia is about to break. Hit that brigade. Double time it, damn it. Dance up to there. Come on. They didn't have advance orders, they had a march order, so they stopped as soon as uh, standards wounded. And there go the Royal Green Jackets. It's expecting them to break. The Surreys are still hanging in there, hanging a little longer, buddies. Yeah, they're marching past me straight for that objective. Jeez. You guys are on fire at will, right? Yeah. Ok, 
Okay, they could be finishing me off right now. All they have to do is break these uh, batteries and they're not coming at me. So far, it's only the one wounded officer. That's good. There you go. Hang in there until that brigade breaks. Keep with me, Surrey. You guys want to sit here and take artillery fire, all the better. Perfect. Turn that way. You guys just hang out there. Didn't I give you orders to goddamn rally your men? Looks like we're still going to pull a victory out of this one. Only got them an 8% casualties. Thomas Artillery, I guess they took us. Counter battery fire. In this series, go get that. I know your morale's not good, but go get that brigade or battery. You boys not moving yet? Statesboro Blue Devils are taking a hammering. They were standing by themselves. Get that brigade starting to fall back. Chatham County, keep hammering away. Benny, get in there and replace Statesboro. They need to fall back. Because my infantry is coming up. At least one brigade is. those guns back before I lose them. Stop piddle fucking. Get moving. What the hell are you boys doing? Oh, wow, they're retreating. Oof. <laughs> All right, I think I broke enough of their brigades. That was a little tight. These guys are still advancing. Yep, there they go. Good job, Southern Highlanders. Excellent job. I think you're done fighting for today. Won't have you chase nobody. Well, it seems like everybody's getting caught on these streams. Like this brigade's not moving because of that. Now they're moving. Now they're moving. That's the most exciting battle I've had in a long time. Even though I had them run across the battlefield, these guys are still well rested. Shows you what a well-trained unit can do. Start double time when you catch these boys. Can't 
throw in some more casualties. There we go, take down a battery. Jackets reform, now it's New Zealand. Statesboro broke. Green jackets broke. <coughs> I'm not surprised that the green jackets broke. I mean they were flanked and rear they they were taking flank and rear. I'm surprised they actually held out as long as they did. Uh, Statesboro also is they were by themselves standing in the open. So they took quite a few casualties. They're almost 300 casualties alone. A little over 300. Finish taking down that brigade. So we got them to 11% casualties to our 8%. Speed this along. Let's do a hard save right here. Good. And so he's broke, but that's my fault. I sent him out to go get that battery and I really shouldn't have. Alright. For once it seems like it, it really seemed like I was fighting a competent AI general this time. That's off to you, Ormsby. Alright, uh. Because 2,700 casualties here, 26,000 infantry, uh, 650 casualties here, 2,000 cal. We got 15 of their 45 guns for a total of 3,300. Uh, we lost uh, 1,300 infantry of the 17,800 on the field, 309 of my 945 cavalry. That's a pretty big hunk of it. Uh, we lost 9 of my 23 guns. That's not good. So a total of uh, 1,679 out of my uh, 19,045. So almost two to one odds. Probably 2.1, 2.2. All right, let's see if we... Victory at Front Royal Bridge. Second Corps fleeing in panic. General Bartow becomes a national hero and General McCook loses face. Sure, some of ours have also, so I'm going to have to go through all the officers after that fight. Uh, the Battle of Front Row Bridge has ended with the 2nd Corps retreating in panic. My command has earned us a total victory with the enemy army running for their lives. The enemy has reportedly suffered total casualties to 3,200 men. There are 429 killed and 573 captured. The morale is believed to be stable. Our casualties total 1,679 men, with 213 killed and 251 missing and the rest wounded. Uh, we have captured 1,821 rifles and four guns from the battlefield, and 512 prisoners have been sent back down to Andersonville. How many do we got down here now? Yeah, 10,000 shoved into that prison now. I didn't realize we captured that many over the few months that we've been fighting this war. Whew. That was a lot closer than I would have liked it to have been. That's what makes it interesting. Can't win them all, but we did win that one. We almost lost it, too. But, uh, the way the AI rushed their army forward at me like that was just really weird. But they almost won. They almost won. I get these guys rolled off a little bit. There we go. Yeah, let's take a look around the fronts real fast. Yeah, Core of Florida. Where's their morale at? Morale's at confidence. at 66%, so they should be up to 98% a few more days. They're getting 17% a day, so they're not too far away from there. Let's take a look at the uh, Core of the Rio Grande. 
Right, they're now outside of Council Grove and moving their way up to Topeka. And one thing we didn't go over was the Gulf Raider Squadron. Take a look at that. Now that is near 20% of the way to being ready. It's gonna take it's gonna take a while for these. The Virginia. I thought these ships would be ready before the Virginia. So it looks like I'm gonna have the Virginia in the water before these ships are. Then uh, the Manassas is another 76%. So uh, as soon as the Virginia is ready, I think her by herself should be able to raid. Should be able to do some raids without taking too much in the way of damage. And if she raids up here to have her fleet's blockade in New Orleans, she should be able to retreat back to New Orleans and refit in New Orleans, which will be good for me because that's a three-star port. Alrighty. Let's go take a look at the court of Shenandoah River. Let's take a look at our officers. Make sure nobody got defamed. I know we got to replace an artillery captain. Or did the game replace him already? It looks like the game might have replaced him already. All right. I think it was the Thomas artillery. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Virginia unit, who is this guy? Now, he's from Virginia, but he's an infantry commander. That's, yeah, no. You are not taking that. Yeah, Grumble Jones will work. Actually, how the hell did I just put a lieutenant colonel in charge of a damn battery? That don't make sense. Hmm. I ain't gonna argue with it. I ain't gonna argue with it. Oh, I didn't look at the cavalry officers. I've still got the other two divisions to look at. Now these guys got wounded. Hopefully nobody got defamed. No, I thought Munford would have been defamed because he fell back at the start of the battle. And all these guys should be climbing in their stats. Yeah, they are. The administration's not climbing, but these guys should have all looked good after that fight. Pelham's looking really good. That's a, that's probably going to end up giving him an artillery division somewhere. He's going to get a big promotion. And Harper, even though he hasn't fought anywhere, has actually got really good. He's not famous, but he's got some good stats for the uh, division commander. He's already got 10 stars. Same with Maury, the uh, commander of Lee's lifeguard. Huh. I'm going to start forming uh, these other corps up. I guess I know where the division commanders are coming from. <laughs> All right. So, uh. I don't think we should drag this episode out any longer. Like I said, it should only be the one battle per episode. So, uh, if you're a new viewer, return of you, if you're not yet subscribed, please think about hitting that subscribe button. If you do, remember to hit that bell icon so you alert when the next videos come out. If you'd like a unit in one of my armies, please let me know what uh, type of unit, state it's from, uniforms, weapons, officer, and I'll oblige on all counts if possible. If you're following along with the series and you're enjoying the content, please remember to hit that like button. Also, comments, comments, comments. Keep them coming. You guys have a lot of great questions for me on what I'm doing, and I love answering them. And I will see you all at the next episode on Wednesday.